good evening. I have only sleep like three, four hours tonight. So I'm sleepy today, but let's read a little bit today. So I have some uh, progress in my reading. I need a minute to go to my bed. I was reading this uh, cyberpunk, cyberpunk computer game last night. I have a count this Star City, but I lost, lost my Star City account because I cannot log in. Because they did something stupid. Some stupid protection I cannot get in. I don't know how to do it. Star Citizen. Page semi-protected. Star Citizen is an in-development multiplayer, space trading and combat simulation game. The game is being developed and published by Cloud Imperium Games for Microsoft Windows. An extended retry of few realized plans for Freelancer, Star Citizen is being led by director Chris Roberts. The game was announced via a private crowdfunding page in September 2012 and was later joined on the 18th of October 2012 by a successful Kickstarter campaign which drew in over US dollar 2 million. Dot 3. Pre-production of the game began in 2010 with production starting in 2011. Dot Star Citizen has become highly criticized during its long production process both for the fact that there is still no clear release date and for the challenges backers who have abandoned the project have faced in receiving a refund. The launch of the game was originally anticipated for 2014, but was repeatedly delayed. In 2013, Cloud Imperium Games began releasing parts of the game, known as modules to provide the players with the opportunity to experience gameplay features prior to release. The latest of these modules known as the Persistent Universe was made available for testing to pre-purchasers in 2015 and continues to receive updates. After more than a decade in development, no projected date for the commercial release of Star Citizen is currently given. After the initial Kickstarter ended, Cloud Imperium Games continued to raise funds through the sale of ships and other in-game content, and is now noted for being the highest funded crowdfunded video game and one of the highest funded crowdfunding projects overall, having raised over US$500 million as of September 2022. Such methods of generating crowdfunded revenue have however led to criticisms and legal issues surrounding the project. In addition to crowdfunding, marketing is now also funded through external investment, having received 63 US dollars and 25 cents million as of March 2020. Squadron 42, a single player game set in the same universe, was initially announced in the Kickstarter as an included campaign in Star Citizen, but is now intended to be a standalone product. Gameplay. Star Citizen combines features from Space Simulator, First Person Shooter, and Massively Multiplayer Online Eganras across its four playable modes. These modes, called Modules, provide different player experience from one another. Three of the modules, Hangar, Arena Commander, and Star Marine, provide examples of game play features that appears in the Persistent Universe module but also have their own mechanics. Hangar module. Star Citizen Developer, S. Cloud Imperium Games Publisher, S. Cloud Imperium Games Director, S. Chris Roberts Writer, S. 
Dave Haddock, 1. Will Weisborn. Adam Wizard. Sherry Haberg. Composer, S. Pedro Comercio. Jeff Zainelli, 2. Engine number Yard Star Engine Platform, S. Microsoft Windows Genre, S. MMO. Space Trading and Combat. First Person Shooter. Immersive Sim. Mode, S. Multiplayer. In the hangar module, players can explore or modify their purchased ships that have been publicly released and interact with ship's systems, though no flying options are available. Also included are decorations and flair that can be placed and arranged within the hangar dot. For, as of Star Citizen Alpha Patch 3.13.1A, May 19, TH 2021, the hangar module is currently disabled due to ongoing issues with no time frame for when it will return. By Arena Commander. Arena Commander is an in-fiction space combat simulator allowing players to fly ships in various game types against other players or AI opponents. Six. In the free flight game type, players can pilot their ship without threat of combat encounters, while in band you will swarm up to four players fight waves of computer controlled enemies. Dot seven eight. Capture the core is a game type inspired by classic capture the flag rules, where a team must capture the opposing team's core and deposit it on their side. Dot nine. A racing game type. Seeking a specifically designed map with three courses, allows players to fly through checkpoints and attempt to beat each other's time. 10, 8. Game types like Battle Royale and Team place players in direct opposition of one another, gaining points for destroying enemy ships. 11, 12. A final game type, called Pirate Swarm, is a horde based game type similar to Vandual Swarm but with different enemy types. 13. G-Force effects on the pilot were introduced in Arena Commander which could cause the player character to black out if they moved in a way that applied substantial G-Forces on the ship. Equipment to customize ships used in Arena Commander can be rented to further allow for modification of player ship combat ability. 14. While a multi-crew component of Arena Commander was announced at a 2015 Star Citizen conference, it has yet to be implemented in the game. 15. Star Marine Star Marine is an in-fiction ground combat simulator, allowing players to fight each other with conventional weaponry. 16. 17. Two maps were made available on release, along with two game types, Elimination and Last Stand. 13. Last Stand is a capture and hold game type in which two opposing teams, the Marines and the Outlaws, each attempt to capture one or more control points to gain points. As a team captures more control points they gain points at a steadily increasing rate. Elimination is a free-for-all game type, unlike the team-based Last Stand. Players work individually to gain the highest kill count before the match ends. Both game variants last for 10 minutes or, in the case of Last Stand, until one team accrues the higher score. 18, 19, Persistent Universe. The Persistent Universe, initially referred to as Crusader, combines the gameplay aspects of the Hangar Arena Commander and Star Marine modules into a single multiplayer platform. 20, 21, players can freely navigate around and on the surface of four planets, nine moons, a planetoid, and a gas giant. 22, players can create male or female avatars for the persistent universe. 23, upon entering the mode, Crash Corn at a space station or one of the available planets in the game. Once spawned, players are given freedom to choose what they pursue, whether it is trading, bounty hunting, mining, or taking on missions. 22. A law system keeps track of player activities and penalizes players for engaging in criminal behavior with a rating that blocks access to certain areas and can lead to bounties or violent reactions from law enforcement. In order to reduce their criminal rating, 
players must hack the law enforcement network or pay off fines they may have incurred. 24. Movement is available in both gravity and zero gravity environments. Different planets have different gravitational fields which alter player jump heights. In zero gravity, players can move with 6 degrees of freedom, with forward movement possible through thrusters on their backs. If a player enters a ship, they can't freely traverse it with artificial gravity affecting them. 20. While the final game will use an in-game currency called UEC, the current early access version uses a temporary currency called a UEC, which will be reset from time to time and at the release of the game. 25. 26. Any purchased or rented ship or vehicle can be spawned by the player at a landing zone. 27. Ships can be purchased with real-world funds or at in-game kiosks with earned credits. 24. Rental. Ships can be procured at separate kiosks for intervals ranging from a few days to a month. 28. If a ship is destroyed, players must file an insurance claim and wait a period of time for it to be delivered. 27. Players can pilot ships both in space and in atmospheres. Transitions between the two occur without loading screens in real time. 29. Planets in the game are procedurally generated with distinct biomes and areas of interest. 30. On each planet is a landing zone, often within a city, where players can disembark and explore the zone on foot. Some cities include transit systems that connect various sections together. Stores that carry various weapons and items can be found in these zones allowing players to purchase equipment and trade goods for their character and ships. 31. On most planets, cave systems are available for players to explore, in which they can take on investigation missions or mine for rare ores. 28. Squadron 42. Squadron 42 is a story-based single-player game set in the Star Citizen fictional universe described by the developers as a spiritual successor to Wing Commander. 32. 33. It is being developed by the Foundry 42 studio under the supervision of Chris Roberts' brother Erin, who had already worked with him on the Wing Commander series and led the production and development of games like Privateer 2, The Darkening and Starlancer. 34, 35, 36. It was originally announced for release in 2014 during the Kickstarter campaign. It was delayed multiple times. 37, 38. In mid 2019, CIG stated that a beta release was planned before the end of Q2 2020 then an estimated Q3 2020 on a now abandoned roadmap. 39, 40, 41. In December 2020, Chris Roberts announced there will be no official release date or gameplay footage at this time. I have decided that it is best to not show Squadron 42 gameplay publicly, nor discuss any release date until we are closer to home stretch and have high confidence in the remaining time needed to finish the game to the quality where I want. 42, 43. The developers state that the interactive storyline centers on an elite military unit and involves the player character enlisting in the United Empire of Earth Navy taking part in a campaign that starts with a large space battle. 10. 32. The players. Actions will allow them to optionally achieve citizenship in the UE and affect their status in the Star Citizen Persistent Universe, but neither of the two games has to be played in order to access the other. 44. 35. In addition to space combat simulation and first-person shooter elements. 35. Reported features include a conversation system that affects relationships with non-player pilots. 32, 33, an optional cooperative mode was initially proposed in the Kickstarter, but later changed to the separate mode added after release. 45, the game is planned to be released in multiple episodes, 
and according to the developers will be offering an estimated of 20 hours of gameplay for Square 42 Episode 1 with about 70 missions worth of gameplay, Squadron 42 Episode 2, Behind Enemy Lines and Episode 3 will launch later. 36, 46, 47. The cast for Squadron 42 includes Gary Oldman, Mark Hamill, Gillian Anderson, Mark Strong, Liam Cunningham, Andy Serkis, John Rhys-Davies, Jack Huston, Eleanor Tomlinson, 